But real quick, y'all, you know, I just want to, number one, say what up. It's the beginning of the week. We feeling good. We energize. Like, this is us. This is our time, y'all. Like, like I feel real good about this week. So we going, number one, we're going to hold each other accountable each week. Write in the comments right now, what is your goals for this week? Write them down and we're going to hold each other accountable. When we come back on Wednesday, we're going to find out where you at working towards your goal this week. This right here is the accountability room. It is no, like this is our safe haven. This is where we come. We can talk freely. We can have real discussions. Ain't no holding back because at the end of the day, I want to see y'all win and I know y'all want to see me win. So whatever your goals are for this week, write them down real quick in the comments down there. Warrior mentality. I see you back in the building. So all kind of people have been here. I love that. I love that. Michelle, what up? What up? But real, you know, it's crazy because as I was preparing and I was thinking about just tonight, like, like I just want to encourage people and I want to be encouraged. So I was, the, I went back to the beginning of my journey and I started to think this is when I was like 19 years old. And, um, I took a trip, this girl I know from the Bronx, I went to school with her. And when she graduated, she went and she moved out to LA her whole life. She always wanted to be an actress. And when she graduated from school, got a degree, she moved immediately out to L.A. And me and my man Los, you know, we went out there to visit her. I don't know, maybe she was out there six months and we went out there to visit her. And I remember going out there to visit her and it was life changing for me. Everything, it just changed my whole perspective on life. Now, she let us into a place. She's living in a one bedroom, had a roommate. We sleeping on the floor. But I'm looking at her and I'm just astonished. I'm, I'm looking at her and, and it was the first time that I saw somebody like that was the true meaning of sacrifice. She said she wanted to do something and it was nothing holding her back. And I'm looking and she's she has no idea the impact that she was having on us. Uh, definitely me. I'm laying on the floor, sleeping on the floor and. I'm watching her go to auditions, so I start going out to auditions. I'm out there for like a week or two. Go out there, did an audition or two. Them casting directors was gassing me up like, yeah, 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 you got the part. Never heard back from them. But that's a whole different story. But when I came back home, when I got back to New York, i never forget, I had a different kind of battery in my back. And I was willing at that moment to go and chase my dream, chase it in a different kind of way. And that's when I said, I don't care if she can do it, I can do it. So I started to chase my dream unapologetically. And real quick, I kind of came to learn that your dream, the dream, it wasn't enough. Like for me, in my case, I'm always upfront with y'all, always tell to y'all and, and, and be very transparent. It took me five internships over the course of six and a half years to get into the music industry. And like I said, your dream, it's not enough. So for all of y'all who are sitting on the other end of this live, y'all, you have, we all have dreams, but the dream has to be greater. Like you have to be in touch with something. What I got to ask, what is your motivation? What is the thing that drives you? What is your purpose? Those things have to be greater than your dream because your dream, it, it, I'm, let me, here's a spoiler alert. Your dream is not coming quick. It is not happening overnight. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you that, but this dream of yours, it is going to take years. And in some cases, it's not going to happen at all. And here's another spoiler alert for you. As much as we are all in here and this is our safe space. So I'm going to say it to y'all like y'all was my brothers and sisters. 90% of y'all ain't never going to reach that mountaintop. You're never going to reach your dream. This is why they call it the 1% club. Because 99% of the people don't ever get to the promised land. So you have to have something that is greater, that is fueling you when when that dream is so freaking far away, when it is so far out of your reach, when it is so far from you ever achieving it, 
When everything is going against you, you need something to hold on to that is greater. And that is why I say you have to identify what is driving you? What is your purpose? What is your, your your motivation for doing what you do? In my case, like I said, it took me years to get in the music industry. But what drove me every time I took an unpaid internship and those people would tell me, no, we don't have no openings. What my driver was now, granted, I didn't say your your motivation got to be, you know, this out of the world, you know, really responsible and, and, and it's got to make sense for me. Every time they did not give me a job, my motivation was revenge. I wanted to like, it was what you, you not, ha I'm the best thing to ever walk in here. In my mind, I was like, look, y'all shouldn't have a job. I should be running this place. So what drove me again and again and again and again was revenge. It was, I am, am, tired of looking at people I don't even respect. And I say that in, in, in the nicest way humanly possible. I did. I, I knew I could do a better job. I knew I was more qualified, but every time a door was slammed in my face by somebody, I didn't respect their work ethic. I didn't respect you. You, you know, it was no doper than me. Like, like, but you're telling you the, you're the reason I can't get in. Okay. I'm going to see you at the top. And i never forget when I finally did get in, when I finally did get in, that, that motivation that kept me, that sustained me for all of those six and a half years. And here's the deal, guys. In my case, in my case, at the time, my girl, you know, I'm going on my fifth internship. I'm paid. She's pregnant at the time. Literally, I got a baby on the way. Do you know what it is to look a pregnant girl in the face and, and tell her, I want to try this one more time? But my 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 motivation, it was greater than my dream. And I need y'all, whatever your dream is, whatever it is that 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 you say, I want to do this or I want to do that, you got to find a motivation that's greater than, than whatever it is that your dream is. Because I can tell you, your dream will let you down. Your dream ain't coming easy. Your dream is not coming overnight. It is good. In, in some cases, it will take years. In my case, it took six and a half years, but it did not matter because what was motivating me, that, 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 you know, I started to learn to go into the office and, 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 and work. And this is a good thing because everybody is driven by something different. In my case, I am ultra competitive. And for me, I was just driven by that rage. I was driven by aggression. I was driven by, I don't give a crap. Y'all, y'all are not as dope as me. And if that was the only thing that kept me getting up morning after morning, that kept me staying at that office late, that kept me despising sleep because every time I slept, I felt like I was missing something. That was the thing that kept me until I realized my dream. But sometimes it's greater than just a dream. And this is for all of y'all. Like I said at the top of this, it, you, you, you got to know what your motivation is. And you got to know what your purpose is. And we can even look at what, you know, what I would consider one of the greatest stories in recent history is seeing Joe Biden get elected to the, to the presidency. I talk to people all day, every day, and people talk about I'm too old. You know, it ain't going to happen for me now. Do you understand this man has been going after that same thing? He's been in politics for 50 years on top of being in politics for 50 years. This is his third time going after the presidency. 1988. He went, got bumped off 2008. He went out, got bumped off by Barack winds up becoming the vice president. But here's when I tell y'all purpose and just hear me out. Joe Biden was, was a regular citizen. He was a professor somewhere last year or the year before. What drove him, his purpose, was Trump getting in office, watching this country go down, watching this man spew all of the stuff he was spewing. But sometimes you need something greater than you that is going to motivate you and give you a purpose. And you don't know where it's going to come from. I'm sure Joe Biden didn't think that 
At 77 years old, he would be running for presidency after losing two times before. But there was a greater purpose that took him out of being a regular citizen and said, let me go for this thing one more time. Yes, his dream and his aspiration was to be the president, but the purpose, the purpose was greater. And I need y'all to really understand that your purpose has to be greater than your dream. Your motivation has to be greater than your dream. You have to tap into something that is going to drive you when your dream does not come to fruition. And like I said earlier, and I'm sorry for this spoiler alert, 90 plus percent of y'all ain't going to make it. And the reason being is because you are comfortable. You are comfortable. Some of y'all have made a career, literally a career out of working the system. Some of y'all have made a career out of, I do just enough work to get a paycheck. I know this company inside and out. I know how to work the system. I keep my head low and I keep it moving. That kind of mentality, you're institutionalized. You, 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 that, that doesn't work. When people are talking about be why you're OB, be your own boss. Be your own boss is barbaric. You have go, got to go back to that primal instinct because it is you eat what you kill. You go back to being a hunter. If I don't bring in a check, my family does not eat. And the mentality of, I am doing just enough to get by to get my two week, my paycheck every two weeks that goes out the window because that can never survive in this world of making your own paycheck, being your own boss. So rethink, rethink the way you have been moving, because we can look at people even to this minute, to this second. People, and this is why I say, look, your, 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 your purpose and your motivation has got to be bigger than your dreams. Some of y'all got dreams. To, to have your own business. Some of y'all got even smaller dreams. I I, I, I just want to lose weight. I, I, I want to look good in, in, in this blouse. I want to look good in these pants. I want to look good in the tank top. But you can't even work out without a partner. So, so, so if your little workout buddy, your little workout partner decides he or she's going to take the day off, oh, now your dream of looking good inside that tank top is out the window. You can't even get up and go. This is, is, is why I say your dream has got to be bigger. Let, or, or let me rephrase that. Your purpose and your motivation has got to be bigger than your dream. And you have got to figure out what is it that drives you? What drives you? In my case, I can tell you even now as we speak and as we do this week over week, what drives me? is the fact that there's somebody out there that is much bigger than me, that is much well known, much more well known than me, and I am sitting in a live with 20 people or so. But we gonna change that. This is what drives me. So what? It's petty, but it is what it is. That's what wakes me up in the morning. That's what keeps me up at night. I guess we'll go, I just went on my little motivational rant I'm going to open this up. If there's anybody out there who wants to chime in for five seconds before we close out Mondays, I like to really do short and sweet. So anybody who wants to chime in real quick, feel free. If not, you know, we'll close it out real quick. Jack Doe, what up? I see you in the building. Jack, what up? Anybody got anything that they want to say, anything that they're working on for the week, anything that they need all of us to help keep them accountable for this week. Please feel free. Let me know you want to jump in this live. If not, I'll see all of y'all on Wednesday when we really open it up to our community. All right. I don't see nobody trying to get in, so we're going to end it right here. All right, y'all. This is just a little Monday night motivation. Monday, 7 p.m. Wednesday, 7 p.m. If, 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 if you are looking for inspirational and, and educational Materials, please head on over to our YouTube channel, Power Move Makers. Interviewed everybody from, from, from people who are celebrities to everyday people who are really killing it and have taken themselves from impoverished conditions 
to be a multimillionaire. So YouTube, that's Power Move Makers. And every night here on live, 7 p.m. Mondays, 7 p.m. Wednesday. 